You're here right now, listening to these words for a reason. This isn't random chance. This isn't luck. This is a moment that could change everything for you. Pay attention because what you're about to learn has the potential to transform your life in ways you never imagined possible. Think about it. Out of all the people in the world, you're the one who found this message. Why? Because you're ready. You're ready to step into a new version of yourself. You're ready to break free from old habits and create a future that excites you. Now I want you to take a deep breath, feel the air filling your lungs, and as you breathe out, let go of any doubts or fears holding you back. Because right now, in this moment, you have infinite potential within you. You see, most people go through life on autopilot. They wake up, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to sleep, and repeat day after day, year after year. They're stuck in a loop, never realizing that they have the power to change their reality. But you're different. You're here because something inside you knows there's more to life. You feel it in your bones, that restlessness, that hunger for something greater. It's your inner wisdom calling you to evolve. When was the last time you felt truly alive? When did you last feel a surge of energy, passion, and purpose coursing through your veins? If you can't remember, or if it's been too long, listen closely, because I'm about to share with you the secrets that have helped thousands of people just like you unlock their hidden potential and create extraordinary lives. Your thoughts carry a simple truth. Your thoughts create your reality. Every single thing in your life right now, your relationships, your job, your health, your bank account, is all a result of your past thinking and beliefs. Now, this might sound intimidating at first. You might be thinking, if my thoughts created my current reality and I'm not happy with where I am, does that mean it's my fault? But here's the amazing thing. Once you understand this principle, you realize that you have the power to change everything. Your brain is the most powerful tool in the universe. It's more complex than any computer, more valuable than any treasure, and you've been carrying it around your whole life without realizing its true potential. Here's the thing. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what's happening in the outside world and what you're vividly imagining. When you close your eyes and picture yourself achieving your goals, your brain fires the same neural pathways as if you were actually doing it. This is why visualization is so powerful. When you consistently visualize your desired future, you're literally rewiring your brain to make that future a reality. You're creating new neural pathways, new patterns of thinking and behaving that align with the person you want to become. But it's not enough to just visualize occasionally. You need to make it a daily practice. You need to be more committed to your new future than to your past. You need to fall in love with the vision of your new life so deeply that you think about it more than your current problems. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. This sounds great, but I've tried positive thinking before and it didn't work for me. If that's you, I want you to listen carefully. Positive thinking alone isn't enough. You need to combine it with elevated emotions. You see, your thoughts are the language of the brain, but your feelings are the language of the body. When you combine clear, focused thoughts with powerful, positive emotions, you create a state of being that sends a signal to the universe. You become a living, breathing magnet for the life you desire. Think about a time when you were truly happy. Maybe it was the day you got married or when you achieved a major goal. Remember how you felt in that moment. The joy, the excitement, the sense of possibility. That feeling is your creative power. It's the energy that shapes your reality. Now, imagine if you could tap into that energy every single day. Imagine waking up each morning filled with excitement for the day ahead. Imagine facing challenges with confidence and calm knowing that you have the power to overcome anything. This isn't just wishful thinking, this is science. We now know that when you combine clear intention with elevated emotion, you change your brain chemistry. You release feel-good neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin. You strengthen your immune system. You literally become a different person on a biological level. But you can't wait for external circumstances to change before you feel this way. You have to choose to feel it now, regardless of your current situation. This is what separates those who create extraordinary lives from those who remain stagnant.
Most people live in a state of stress and survival. They are constantly reacting to their environment, letting outside circumstances dictate how they feel. But when you learn to generate elevated emotions from within, you become the creator of your life instead of a victim of circumstance. Now, I'm not saying this is easy. It takes practice, dedication, and a willingness to step out of your comfort zone and do things differently. But I promise you, the rewards are beyond anything you can imagine. Think about it this way. Every great invention, every world-changing discovery, every incredible achievement in human history started as a thought in someone's mind. The computer you're using right now, the phone in your pocket, the car you drive, all of these started as ideas. You have the same creative power within you. The only difference between you and those who have achieved greatness is that they learn to harness this power. They learn to direct their thoughts and emotions in a way that aligns with their desires. So how do you do this? It starts with becoming aware of your current thoughts and feelings. Pay attention to your inner dialogue. Notice how you talk to yourself throughout the day. Are you constantly criticizing yourself? Are you focusing on what's wrong instead of what's possible? Once you become aware of your thought patterns, you can begin to change them. Replace negative self-talk with affirmations that align with your goals. Instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I am capable of overcoming any challenge. Instead of dwelling on past failures, focus on the lessons you've learned and how they've made you stronger. But remember, it's not just about changing your thoughts. You need to feel the emotions associated with your desired future. If you want to be successful, you need to feel successful now. If you want to be healthy, you need to feel healthy now. If you want love in your life, you need to feel love now. This might sound counterintuitive. You might be thinking, how can I feel successful when I'm struggling financially? How can I feel healthy when I'm dealing with chronic pain? But this is where the magic happens. When you can generate these elevated emotions, regardless of your external circumstances, you start to change your energy field. You begin to attract experiences that match your new vibration. Think of it like tuning a radio. Right now, you might be tuned into a station playing music you don't like, but instead of waiting for the station to change its playlist, you have the power to change the frequency. You can tune into a station playing the music of your dreams. Now, I'm not saying you should ignore your current reality or pretend that problems don't exist. What I'm saying is that you have a choice in how you respond to your circumstances. You can choose to focus on solutions instead of problems. You can choose to see opportunities instead of obstacles. This shift in perspective is crucial because when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. It's not just a cute saying, it's a fundamental truth about how our brains work. Your brain has something called the Reticular Activating System, RAS. It's like a filter that decides what information from your environment is important enough to bring to your conscious attention. When you focus on something, whether it's positive or negative, your RAS starts to look for evidence to support that focus. This is why when you buy a new car, you suddenly start seeing that same model everywhere. It's not that there are more of those cars on the road, it's that your brain is now tuned to notice them. The same principle applies to your goals and desires. When you consistently focus on what you want, your RAS starts to filter in opportunities and resources that can help you achieve those goals. Things that were always there but that you never noticed before suddenly become visible. But here's the catch. This process takes time. It takes repetition. It takes persistence. You can't just visualize your goals once and expect miracles to happen overnight. You need to make this practice a part of your daily routine. This is where meditation comes in. When you meditate, you create space between your thoughts. You start to observe your mind instead of being caught up in its constant chatter. This awareness is the first step to change. But we're not talking about passive meditation here. We're talking about active, focused meditation where you consciously direct your thoughts and emotions towards your desired future. Where you rehearse being the person you want to become. Imagine starting each day with a 20-minute meditation where you visualize your ideal life in vivid detail. You see yourself waking up full of energy, tackling your goals with enthusiasm, 
and interacting with others from a place of love and compassion. You feel the emotions associated with living this life, the joy, the gratitude, the sense of purpose. Over time, this practice starts to rewire your brain. You create new neural pathways that support your goals. You begin to think, feel, and act more like the person you want to become. And as you change on the inside, your outer world begins to change to match. Now, I know some of you might be skeptical. You might be thinking, this sounds too good to be true. How can just thinking about something make it happen? But here's the thing. It's not just about thinking. It's about embodying. It's about becoming. When you consistently practice this kind of focused meditation, you're not just daydreaming. You're actively changing your brain chemistry. You're altering your energy field. You're sending a clear signal to the universe about who you are and what you want. The universe always responds. It has to. It's a fundamental law of nature. Like attracts like, energy attracts similar energy. When you change your internal state, your external reality has no choice but to change to match it. Match. But, and this is crucial, you have to trust the process. You have to have faith because often the changes happen in ways you can't predict or control. Opportunities show up that you never could have imagined. People come into your life who can help you in ways you never expected. This is where many people falter. They start the practice but give up too soon because they don't see immediate results. They don't realize that change often happens gradually and then suddenly. It's like water heating up. It gets hotter and hotter degree by degree and then suddenly it boils. Your life can transform in the same way. You might not notice the small changes day by day, but over time they accumulate. And then one day you wake up and realize that your life has completely transformed. But here's the key. Don't be attached to how your desires manifest. You have to be open to receiving in unexpected ways because often the universe's plans for you are far greater than anything you could have imagined for yourself. This is where surrender comes in. Not a passive surrender where you give up and stop trying, but an active surrender where you do everything in your power to move towards your goals while at the same time letting go of your attachment to the outcome. It's a delicate balance. You need to be clear about what you want, but flexible about how you get it. You need to take inspired action, but also trust in perfect timing. You need to believe in your vision with every fiber of your being, but also be open to the possibility that something even better might be in store for you. This kind of surrender requires courage. It requires faith. It requires a willingness to step into the unknown because when you truly commit to this path of personal transformation, you're saying goodbye to your old self. You're letting go of old patterns, old beliefs, and old ways of being that no longer serve you, and that can be scary. Your brain is wired to seek safety and familiarity. It wants to keep you in your comfort zone, even if that zone is filled with struggle and pain, because at least it's familiar, at least it's known. But here's the truth. Your greatest joy, your greatest achievements lie just outside your comfort zone. They're waiting for you in the realm of the unknown, in the space of infinite possibility. I want you to ask yourself right now, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Who would you be if you let go of all your limitations? What kind of life would you create if you truly believed in your own power? These aren't just rhetorical questions. They're invitations. Invitations to step into a new version of yourself. Invitations to create a life beyond your wildest dreams. Because here's the thing. You are not your past. You are not your circumstances. You are not your limitations. You are a being of infinite potential, capable of creating miracles in your life. But you have to choose it. You have to claim it. You have to be willing to let go of who you think you are to become who you're meant to be. This journey of transformation isn't always easy. There will be challenges. There will be setbacks. There will be moments of doubt and fear. But that's okay. That's part of the process. In fact, those challenges are opportunities. They're chances for you to prove to yourself how strong you really are. They're invitations to dig deeper, to tap into resources you didn't even know you had. The universe never gives you a dream without 
also giving you the ability to achieve it. The very fact that you can imagine a better life means that you have the capacity to create it. But you have to be willing to put in the effort. You must be willing to face your fears, confront your limiting beliefs, and push through the discomfort of growth. Most importantly, you need to be consistent. You can't just do this work when you feel like it or when it's convenient. You must make it a non-negotiable part of your daily life. Wake up every morning and spend time in meditation, visualizing your ideal future. Throughout the day, catch yourself when you slip into old patterns of thinking and consciously choose new, empowering thoughts. Before you go to bed, review your day and celebrate your progress no matter how small. Remember, every thought you think, every word you speak, every action you take is either moving you towards your goals or away from them. There is no neutral ground. You're either growing or stagnating. So choose growth, choose evolution, choose to become the best version of yourself. As you do this work, as you consistently align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desires, something magical starts to happen. You begin to experience synchronicities, coincidences that seem too perfect to be random, opportunities that show up at just the right time, this is the universe responding to your new vibration. This is the law of attraction in action. This is you stepping into the flow of life where things start to happen effortlessly and everything seems to work out in your favor. As you transform your own life, you naturally start to impact the lives of others. Your energy becomes contagious. People are drawn to you. They wanna know your secret. They're inspired by your example. And that's when you realize that this journey was never just about you. It was about becoming the best version of yourself so that you could make a positive impact on the world. Because when you change yourself, you change the world. Every person you interact with is affected by your energy. Every life you touch is changed in some way. You become a living example of what's possible when someone commits to their own growth and evolution. So I want you to think big. I want you to dream big. I want you to set goals that scare you a little because those are the goals that will push you to grow. Those are the goals that will force you to become more than you currently are. And as you work towards these goals, remember to enjoy the journey. Because the truth is, there is no destination. There's no point where you'll finally arrive and everything will be perfect. Life is a constant process of growth and evolution. The joy is in the journey the fulfillment is in the process of becoming. And the magic is in those moments when you surprise yourself, when you do something you didn't think was possible, when you become more than you were yesterday. So embrace the journey, embrace the challenges, embrace the growth, because every obstacle is an opportunity. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. Every moment of doubt is a chance to reaffirm your faith in yourself and in the universe. You are here right now reading these words because you're ready for this message. You're ready to step into your power. You're ready to create a life that lights you up, that fills you with passion and purpose, that allows you to make your unique contribution to the world. And the world needs you. The world needs your gifts, your talents, your unique perspective. The world needs the best version of you. So don't hold back. Don't play small. Don't let fear or doubt or past experiences hold you back from becoming all that you're meant to be. Take a deep breath. Feel the energy of possibility coursing through your body because right now, in this moment, you have a choice. You can choose to continue living the way you've always lived or you can choose to step into a new reality. Your future is not set in stone it's not determined by your past or by your current circumstances. Your future is created by the choices you make right now, in this moment, and in every moment that follows. So choose wisely. Choose thoughts that empower you. Choose feelings that elevate you. Choose actions that align with your highest vision for your life. And remember, this isn't about perfection. It's not about getting it right all the time. It's about progress. It's about consistently moving in the direction of your dreams, even when it's challenging, even when you don't feel like it. Because here's the truth. The person you become on the journey towards your goals 
is even more important than achieving the goals themselves. The strength you develop, the wisdom you gain, the resilience you build, these are the real treasures. Think about it. Every challenge you face, every obstacle you overcome, every moment of doubt you push through, these are all shaping you into the person who's capable of living your dream life. They're not holding you back. They're preparing you for greatness. So embrace the challenges, welcome the obstacles, and see them for what they really are. Opportunities for growth, chances to prove to yourself what you're truly capable of. And as you do this, as you consistently choose growth over comfort, possibility over limitation, creation over reaction, something amazing starts to happen. You start to build momentum. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill. At first, progress might seem slow, and you might not notice much change day to day. But as you keep going, as you keep making those empowering choices, the snowball gets bigger, it moves faster, and before you know it, you've created an unstoppable force of positive change in your life. This is the power of consistency. This is the magic of committing to your own evolution every single day. But here's the key. You can't wait until you feel ready and you can't wait until all the conditions are perfect. You have to start now, right where you are, with what you have. Because the truth is, you'll never feel completely ready for big changes. There will always be a part of you that wants to stay safe, that wants to stick with the familiar, even if the familiar isn't serving you. That's your old self trying to keep you in your comfort zone. But remember, your comfort zone is not where the magic happens. Your comfort zone is not where dreams come true. Your comfort zone is not where you become the best version of yourself. So you have to be willing to feel uncomfortable. You have to be willing to do things differently. You have to be willing to let go of who you've been to become who you're meant to be. And yes, this can feel scary. It can feel overwhelming. There might be moments when you want to give up, when you want to go back to your old ways of being. But in those moments, I want you to remember why you started this journey in the first place. Remember the vision you have for your life. Remember the person you're becoming. Remember the impact you want to make in the world. Let that vision pull you forward. Let it be stronger than your fears, bigger than your doubts, more powerful than any obstacle in your path. Because here's the thing, you are capable of so much more than you realize. You have strengths, talents and abilities that you haven't even tapped into yet. You have a wellspring of potential just waiting to be unleashed. But to access that potential, you have to be willing to step out of your own way. You have to be willing to let go of limiting beliefs, to release old patterns, to shed the layers of conditioning that have been holding you back. This is where meditation becomes so powerful. When you meditate, when you quiet your mind and go within, you create space, space between your thoughts space between stimulus and response, space where new possibilities can emerge. In that space, you can start to observe your thoughts instead of being caught up in them. You can start to question your beliefs instead of accepting them as absolute truth. You can start to choose your responses instead of reacting automatically. This is true freedom. This is where real change begins. But it's not enough to just meditate for a few minutes and then go back to your old ways of thinking and being. You have to carry that awareness, that presence, that intentionality into every moment of your day. When you catch yourself falling into old patterns, pause, take a breath, remember who you're becoming and choose again. When you face a challenge instead of reacting with stress or fear, pause, take a breath and ask yourself, how would the future me handle this situation? Then act from that place of wisdom and power. When you achieve a goal, instead of immediately moving on to the next thing, pause, take a breath, and feel the gratitude, the joy, the sense of accomplishment. Let those elevated emotions fuel your next steps. This is how you create lasting change. This is how you rewire your brain for success this is how you become the architect of your own destiny. And as you do this work, as you consistently choose to align with your highest self, you'll start to notice changes. Maybe at first they'll be small, a little more energy in the morning, a bit more patience with others, a new idea that excites you. 
But over time, these small changes add up. They compound. They create a ripple effect that touches every area of your life. Your relationships improve because you're showing up as your best self. Your work becomes more fulfilling because you're approaching it with passion and purpose. Your health improves because you're making choices from a place of self-love and respect. As your life transforms, you become an inspiration to others without even trying. You start to uplift the people around you. Think about it. Every challenge you face, every obstacle you overcome, every moment of doubt you push through, these are all shaping you into the person who's capable of living your dream life. They're not holding you back, they're preparing you for greatness. So embrace the challenges, welcome the obstacles, and see them for what they really are. Opportunities for growth, chances to prove to yourself what you're truly capable of. And as you do this, as you consistently choose growth over comfort, possibility over limitation, creation over reaction, something amazing starts to happen. You start to build momentum. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill. At first, progress might seem slow and you might not notice much change day to day. But as you keep going, as you keep making those empowering choices, the snowball gets bigger, it moves faster, and before you know it, you've created an unstoppable force of positive change in your life. This is the power of consistency. This is the magic of committing to your own evolution every single day. But here's the key. You can't wait until you feel ready, and you can't wait until all the conditions are perfect. You have to start now, right where you are with what you have, because the truth is, you'll never feel completely ready for big changes. There will always be a part of you that wants to stay safe, that wants to stick with the familiar, even if the familiar isn't serving you. That's your old self trying to keep you in your comfort zone. But remember, your comfort zone is not where the magic happens. Your comfort zone is not where dreams come true. Your comfort zone is not where you become the best version of yourself. So you have to be willing to feel uncomfortable. You have to be willing to do things differently. You have to be willing to let go of who you've been to become who you're meant to be. And yes, this can feel scary. It can feel overwhelming. There might be moments when you want to give up, when you want to go back to your old ways of being. But in those moments, I want you to remember why you started this journey in the first place. Remember the vision you have for your life. Remember the person you're becoming. Remember the impact you want to make in the world. Let that vision pull you forward. Let it be stronger than your fears, bigger than your doubts, more powerful than any obstacle in your path. Because here's the thing, you are capable of so much more than you realize. You have strengths, talents, and abilities that you haven't even tapped into yet. You have a wellspring of potential just waiting to be unleashed. But to access that potential, you have to be willing to step out of your own way. You have to be willing to let go of limiting beliefs, to release old patterns, to shed the layers of conditioning that have been holding you back. This is where meditation becomes so powerful. When you meditate, when you quiet your mind and go within, you create space. Space between your thoughts, space between stimulus and response, space where new possibilities can emerge. In that space, you can start to observe your thoughts instead of being caught up in them. You can start to question your beliefs instead of accepting them as absolute truth. You can start to choose your responses instead of reacting automatically. This is true freedom. This is where real change begins. But it's not enough to just meditate for a few minutes and then go back to your old ways of thinking and being. You have to carry that awareness, that presence, that intentionality into every moment of your day. When you catch yourself falling into old patterns, pause, take a breath, remember who you're becoming, and choose again. When you face a challenge, instead of reacting with stress or fear, pause, take a breath, and ask yourself, how would the future me handle this situation? Then act from that place of wisdom and power. When you achieve a goal, instead of immediately moving on to the next thing, Pause, take a breath, and feel the gratitude, the joy, the sense of accomplishment. Let those elevated emotions fuel your next steps. This is how you create lasting change. This is how you rewire your brain for success. This is how you become the architect of your own destiny. 
And as you do this work, as you consistently choose to align with your highest self, you'll start to notice changes. Maybe at first they'll be small, a little more energy in the morning, a bit more patience with others, a new idea that excites you. But over time, these small changes add up. They compound. They create a ripple effect that touches every area of your life. Your relationships improve because you're showing up as your best self. Your work becomes more fulfilling because you're approaching it with passion and purpose. Your health improves because you're making choices from a place of self-love and respect. As your life transforms, you become an inspiration to others without even trying. You start to uplift the people around you.